Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome once again to this new lesson. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Here. All right. Let's begin. But first, we need to um, call the attendance list. Just a second. What's going on? Okay. All right. Let's see. Just one second, it's loading. Okay. There it is. Okay. Um, it seems still loading, so we're going to start the class, and then when it finishes loading, I'm going to continue. Uh, I'm going to call the attendance because it's it's taking a while for some reason. Hmm, that's a little strange. Okay, well, we'll do it in five minutes. Let's begin. It's uh ah, it's here. Okay, it just finished. Okay, I'm going to uh, call your names now. So. November the 15th. Okay, first one, Ana Patricia Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm going to turn up the volume. Oh, it's very low. Okay, uh, Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. No. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Mendez. Sorry, I just need. To... Okay, Brenda Adriana. No. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, what's happening here? Parece que estoy teniendo un poco de problema con este archivo en línea. Solo le ruego su paciencia un momentito, que no me aparece el lo que estoy tratando de editar. Bueno. Qué extraño. Ah, Sandra Serrano, dígame. No, presente, teacher. Ah, bueno. <ríe> sí, pero ahorita me está dando un poco de problema esto. No me aparece. Que ya pasó lista, Lick. En eso estamos, ahorita. Ah, okay. Pero me está dando un poquito de, de problema. Voy a, la voy a cargar y eh, vamos a pasar la lista dentro de 10 minutos porque creo que hay un problema ahorita. No sé por qué. Pero bueno, veamos acá. It's inglés intermedio, módulo 1. Ok, and again, that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is Pre Intermediate 1, Session 5, and it's November the 15th. Wait a second, this is not the right slide. Uh, here's the right slide, I'm sorry. It's November the 15th, 2022, and it's Session 6. Ok, everybody, let's take a look. ¿Con qué vamos a iniciar? Con un pequeño repaso de lo que vimos el día de ayer, más los ejercicios que por falta de tiempo no pudimos realizar. Ok, I have some people in the chat. Ok, teacher, este día de oyente. Ok, ok. Dice Brenda Adriana por acá. Michelle me dice que tiene un poquito de problemas con la señal. Ok, me doy por enterado. All right, let's begin. So, a review. This, that, these, and those. Okay, these are demonstratives. Okay, this is singular for things that are near, for things that I can touch, for things that I can see very close to me. For example, she says, do you like this picture? The plural form is these, these. Okay, 
she says, these flowers are for you. Estas flores, okay? The flowers are near. She can touch the flowers. So this and these, you say this picture, that means this picture right here. These flowers, these flowers here, okay? Then you have that, singular. Do you like that picture? Okay, the picture is far away. Those is plural. Who are those people? All right. That and those. You say that picture means that picture over there. Those people. Those people there. Okay, not here. There. That's how you use them. Remember that we use this, that, these, and those with a noun. For example, when you say this picture, those girls, etc., or without a noun. Examples, this hotel is expensive, but it's nice. Who is that girl? I don't know. Do you like these shoes? I bought them last week. And those apples look nice. Can I have one? These are some examples of the use of demonstratives with a noun. But you can also use the demonstratives without a noun. También se pueden utilizar sin el sustantivo. For example, this is a nice hotel, but it's very expensive. Excuse me, is this your bag? Oh yes, thank you. Who is that? That means who is that person? And which shoes do you like better? These or those? So in those sentences, you can see the demonstratives without a noun, okay? Nada nuevo hasta este punto es lo mismo que vimos ayer. Repaso. One and ones. Dijimos que one and ones eran al final. Tenemos acá. Ok. Eh, estaba leyendo acá el chat. Me ponían. Ok. One and ones. One and ones are pronouns. ¿Para qué se utilizan? Se utilizan para no repetir la palabra que ya dijimos. Ok. O cuando es bastante evidente de que estamos hablando. Como en este caso. You have some hats. Which one do you want? Okay. And he says, this one. No tiene que decirle, which hat do you want? Porque se los está mostrando. Lo mismo, él no tiene que contestar, this hat, porque ahí mismo los tiene a la mano. Entonces, no es necesario decir la palabra hat. Ya se entiende que están hablando de sombreros. So, when you say which one, that means which hat. One can mean a hat, a car a flower, a person, a house, uh, etc. Okay, any noun. Example, which car is yours? This one or that one? Este o aquel? That means this car or that car. The plural form is ones. She says, which ones do you want? And he says, the white ones. They both know that they're talking about flowers. Okay? No tienen que decir flowers porque ya se entiende que están hablando de flowers. Entonces le pregunta, ¿cuáles quiere? Esta, dice él. Bueno, las blancas, the white ones. No tiene que decir las flores blancas. No es necesario. Simplemente puede decir the white ones, las blancas. So, which ones means which flowers? Ones can mean hats. Cars, flowers, people, etc. Okay. Um, which flowers do you want? These or those? That means these ones or those ones. Also, you have the one. For example, I don't like the black jacket but I like the brown one. Si no me gusta la chaqueta negra, pero me gusta la café. No hay que decir la chaqueta café, porque ya se entiende. I like the brown one. Para eso se utiliza one ahí. Don't buy that camera. Buy the other one. Compra la otra, right? The plural form, the ones. I don't like the red shoes but I like the green ones. 
Don't buy those apples. Buy the other ones. Also, A and N with one. This cup is dirty. Can I have a clean one? ¿Me pueden dar uno que esté limpio? That cookie was good. I am going to eat another one. Voy a comerme otra, otra galleta, right? Some and ones, the plural form. These cups are dirty. Can we have some clean ones? My shoes are very old. I'm going to buy some new ones. Vamos a probar la asistencia. Bueno, creo que ya cargó. Ok. Desde el principio, aquí teníamos a Ana Patricia, me dijo que ya está. Benjamín, por ahí lo vimos. Brenda Adriana. Brenda Adriana, no. César Alexander, ya me dijo que acá está. Elisa Arelí. Present. Uh, ah, Brenda Adriana, por ahí está. Ok. Hello. Present, teacher. Ok, Elisa, thank you. Otra vez se volvió a trabar esto. ¿Qué problema? Bueno, lo voy a volver a cargar entonces. Les pido disculpas, algo ahí no está funcionando bien. Let's continue. Sigamos entonces. Ok. So, um, hasta ahí el repaso, ¿verdad? Esto es lo que eh, seguiría en este caso. Hoy sí cargó más rápido. Esperemos que ya esté bien. Esperemos que sí. Si no, a mano me va a tocar <ríe> tomar la asistencia y después voy a pasar el reporte. Esperemos que no se pueda. Que no sea así, más bien. Ay. Ok. Tenemos a Elisa. Me dijo que ahí está. Hugo. Por ahí lo vi, creo yo. Hugo Giovanni. Present here. Present here. Thank you. Iris Janet. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you. Hoy sí funciona. Irving Hiroki. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Carolina. Janet, Carolina. Si sí, aquí me dicen que quizás mi Inter está un poquito lento por algún motivo. No entiendo por qué. No hay nada más conectado. A menos que alguien me esté robando señal. Espero que no. Ok. Janet, Carolina. No. Jennifer, Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. De nuevo, no aparece. Vamos, ¿cómo solucionaré esto? De nuevo me está dando ese problema. Bueno, voy a tener que cargar una vez más. I'm sorry. Ok, les prometo que no vuelve a pasar esto. Ok, veamos acá. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Aparecía un poco feo esto, así que lo reescribí para que se vea mejor. Uno por uno. Practice with a partner. Veamos. Excuse me. She's, the, she's buying. Okay. How much? ¿Cómo nos quedaría ahí? Mm -hmm. Hugo. And then Cesar. Okay, Hugo. How much? How much? Does... Does... Jeans, those jeans. jeans. Ok. Those jeans. Good, but one word is missing. Falta una palabra ahí. Son dos palabras las que hay que utilizar. Who can yes. help Hugo? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm sorry? How much it? Ok. Jeans is a plural noun. Uh, our. Uh -huh. our. So, ok, Hugo, from the beginning, how much? Whose are jeans? Uh, veamos, how much? Tendríamos que seguir con el verb be, ¿verdad? Sería, how much are? Are jeans? These jeans. Si vemos el dibujo, jeans. los jeans que está señalando están un poquito lejos, no están en el mismo, digamos, estante. Uh, Ajá, están lejitos, ¿verdad? Entonces, how much are? This. Mm -hmm. This or 
Lo vi, sería ah. porque está algo cerca. De hecho, e ella es la que está preguntando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, Entonces sería, está. Estás, los está señalando. O sea que está un poquito lejos. Those. That's those. Those. Okay. How much those. are those jeans? Okay. Thank you. Um, what about the second one, Selma? Sería which ones? En plural. Which ones? Correct. Sí. Uh -huh. Can you complete the rest? Do you which mean? Which ones hmm? do you mean? Ahora está hablando uh, ella, ¿verdad? Yes. Do you mean? Es, uh, eh, sería this. Mm -hmm. Do you mean these? This. Y al decir these nos referimos the dark blue ones que está señalando ella ahí, ¿verdad? Do you mean these? Yes. Uh -huh. Se refiere a estos. And what about the next one? Mm -hmm. Okay, who can help us? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Selma and Hugo, by the way. Thank you very much. Okay, what about the next one? Who can help us? By the way, this is the knowledge check. Este es el mismo knowledge check que aparece en la, en la plataforma. El mismo ejercicio. So, ¿qué palabra falta ahí? José Aguilar. Uh, the microphone. Eh, en la literal A. Uh -huh. No, the light blue one. Uh, jeans is a plural noun. Ones. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, the light blue ones. Uh -huh. Correct. Thank you, Jose Aguilar. Then Melissa Guadalupe. Oh. Uh, I can't hear anything. Me parece que hay un problema ahí con el micrófono. Give me a second, please. Ok. Melissa Guadalupe, creo que hubo un, pro, un problemita ahí con su, con su micrófono. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien que nos pueda echar la mano? ¿Does anybody know? Ok, Selma. Eh, no sé si sería teacher. Oh, these are. Mm -hmm. These are or they are. También puede ser. Mm -hmm. okay. Cualquiera de las dos. These are $59.95 or they are $59.95. And then she says, almost $60. Are you kidding? These are expensive jeans. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. So uh, next exercise. Quien está hablando es el señor, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Who can help us here? Ana Patricia. Uh, the microphone. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the A, uh, I think, is I like this backpack over there over there lejitos está lejos está lejos entonces no puede no, ser no, this no. Ajá. i like that i like that backpack, that backpack over, there. over there y luego qué le pregunta how much is how much is it how much is it okay good then uh, Thank you, Ana Patricia. Next one, Michelle. Which one? Which one? Correct. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. Cesar. The red one. The red one. Okay, very good. Thank you. 
Next one, please, letter B. Siempre vean el dibujo, el dibujo les da la clave. Ok, Michelle. Um, no sé si sería but the, but the real one. Mm -hmm. The real yeah. one is only twenty two twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Twenty-two twenty-five. Correct. You can say but this green one. Or the green one, puede ser también, is only 22.25. And he says, okay, let me see it, please. Thank you, Michelle. That is correct. Good. Next. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Yes. Estamos suponiendo que en el literal B está tocando la mochila, porque dice this. No necesariamente, pero si se fija, está súper cerca de ella. En algunas ocasiones no es necesario estarla tocando para decir de es con solo que esté al alcance ya puede utilizarlo ah ya ya uh -huh. es que uh -huh. sí porque, porque that se ocupa para aquello que está lejos verdad está un poquito y lejos que, sí. ajá y entendí que él dice era para lo que tocamos lo que agarramos uh -huh. mm, lo que está cerca o lo que está a nuestro alcance más bien si usted se fija por ejemplo ella está detrás del mostrador Entonces, ella casi que tiene acceso a esta mochila, a esta, a esta y la que tiene atrás, ¿verdad? En cambio, él está en la parte de adelante. Por lo tanto, él no tiene alcance a nada de eso. Tiene que señalarlas para preguntar cuánto valen. Por lo tanto, ahí ocupamos that. Ah, uh, ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. Nice. Those are the exercises. And we have an extra exercise right here. Choose the correct sentences to complete this conversation. Okay, you need to select from the box. Now let's take a look. Sam says, look at those pants, Rebecca. And Rebecca says, which ones? Cuales? Okay, which ones? They use the first one. Sam says, the light blue ones over there. They are nice. How do we continue this conversation? Raise your hand, please. Your digital hand your virtual hand. Janet Jacqueline. Seria, yes, but I don't really like light blue. That's right, yes, but I don't really like light blue. Correct, very good. Then Sam says, hmm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Pamela, did you want to participate? Yes. The net? Mm -hmm. With the Rebecca? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Mm, not really. It's a different one. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Me quedo que ya. No hay problema, no hay problema. What about the sweater? It's perfect. Yeah. Um, you can say which one? Which one? That's right. Okay. Which one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Which one? Correct. Thank you, Pamela. Sam says, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. And Rebecca says, which one? And Sam says, this red one. Okay. Ana Patricia, do you want to participate? Uh, your microphone. Um, this red one. Uh, Rebecca says, well, I like it, but it's expensive. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Okay. Thank you. That's right. Very good. And then Sam says, hey, let me buy it for you. It's a present. What does Rebecca say? Michelle. And then Hugo for the next one. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. 
Thank you very much, Sam. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Very good. Very good. Next exercise. Este también es extra, es adicional. Complete these conversations with how much is, how much are, and this, that, these, or those. Aquí hay un ejemplo. Backpack. Solo es uno. Y vemos que lo está agarrando. O sea, lo tiene a su alcance. Entonces decimos, how much is this backpack? The answer is, it's $31.99 or $31.99. Okay. Then number two. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Hugo, do you want to participate? Does this are son uh, bracelets como esta Bracelet. cabra bracelets ah, mm, bracelets okay, yeah. Does... pero hay que hacer la pregunta completa tiene que preguntarle cuánto valen veamos uh, acá how... la instrucción ajá sería how much does el verbi el verbi falta ah. Um, how much is 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 in uh, our no this this our <laughs> es uno o el otro no pueden ser los dos uh, sorry o es, o es is <laughs> o es are is are yes, uh, okay uh, okay desde el principio entonces how much how much uh, our person uh, uh, is this Are these bracelets? Pero no puede ser these porque están lejos. Si usted se fija, le está and señalando those, ahí. Yeah, that's, that's no, eh, those. 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 Es que me confundo, me confundo. Okay. Those. How much are those bracelets? Mm -hmm. so, How much is. are those bracelets? ¿Cuánto valen esos brazaletes de allá, verdad? How much are those bracelets? And the answer is they are $29. That's expensive. Okay, thank you. Roberto Carlos, you're next. Please, number three. Excuse me, how much, uh, how much are those the shoes? She's holding the shoes with her hand. Okay, so. How much are? A, um, those the shoes? Those is for things that are far away. Um, Pero ella los oh, está tomando yes, con su mano. Entonces están okay. cerquita. Okay. Uh, how much uh, is this the choose? Mm, not exactly. Okay, the verb be. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The verb be. That uh, you use is for singular objects. You use are for plural objects. The shoes. Mm -hmm. That's a plural noun. So you say how much are? The shoes. This okay. Shoe. Yes. This these shoes. shoes, okay. How much are these shoes? Yeah. And the answer is they are $64. Thank you, Roberto. Yeah. The next one is for Sandra Serrano. Then we'll continue with Jennifer Noemi and then Hiroki. Okay, for the next exercise. Ahí falta todavía. Um, so, Sandra, please, number four. Um, how, how much is um, uh, that cat. How much is that cat? ¿Cuánto vale ese gato? That's my cat and he's not for sale. Es mi gato y no está la venta, le dice. Okay, that's my cat and he's not for sale. Okay, thank you, Sandra. That is correct. Veamos siempre, ¿verdad? Cuando se trata solamente de un objeto por el que vamos a eh, preguntar el valor monetario, vamos a utilizar is. ¿Verdad? Como en el caso número uno y en el caso número cuatro dice, how much is this backpack? ¿Ok? Solo es una mochila, por lo tanto, how much is? Lo mismo el gato, solo es un gato, así que how much is? Pero en el caso de los brazaletes y los zapatos, ya estamos hablando de un sustantivo plural. Ahí vamos a utilizar are. Y decimos, how much are those bracelets? How much are these shoes? Aspecto número uno. El número dos es, tenemos que ver cuál demonstrative vamos a utilizar. 
En el caso número uno es singular y lo tiene cerca. Por lo tanto, how much is this backpack? This. Yo digo, por ejemplo, this cell phone. ¿Por qué? Porque lo tengo acá, ¿verdad? Ok, está cerca de mí. How much is this backpack? Number two. How much are those bracelets? Those bracelets. Están por allá. Así que es those. Plural and far. Those. Number three. How much are these shoes? It's these. Plural and near. Okay. And the last one. How much is that cat? It's far and singular. How much is that cat? Okay. Veamos, no hay problema, hay más ejercicios. Vamos a ir por siguiente. Okay, the next one. Um, okay, choose the correct words to complete the conversations. Veamos, Jennifer Noemi me quiere participar. The clerk, el clerk es el encargado, ¿verdad? Good afternoon. And Louis says, oh, hi. How much is, and then you have two options, this or these watch. Solo es uno, por lo tanto, this watch. Okay, so Jennifer Noemi and then Cesar Alexander. What does the clerk say? It's or there? It's $195. Correct, because it's only one watch. Very good, thank you. Cesar, what does Luis say? And how much is that one? How much is that one? ¿Cómo sabemos que es one? Porque dice that. That es para singular, por lo tanto, el que sigue también va a ser singular. How much is that one? ¿Cuánto vale ese? Que está ahí, ¿verdad? And then the clerk says, Thank you, Caesar. Correct. Um, volunteer. Benjamin, welcome back. And then Hiroki. It's. It's $255. And Luis says, oh, really? Well, thanks anyway. All right, thank you, Benjamin. Hiroki is next. What does Meg say? Hiroki? Um, sería uh, those. Okay, good. Those. Can you read the whole uh, question, please? Yeah, excuse okay. me. How much are those jeans? How much are those jeans? Okay, that's right. No puede ser that porque jeans es una palabra en plural. Así que tiene que ser la única opción, those. How much are those jeans? And what does the clerk say? Thank you, Hiroki. Very good. Volunteer. How about this one? What does the clerk say? Victoria, and then Ana Patricia, and then uh, Luz, and then Jocelyn. Okay, Victoria. They, they're they only, only $59. $59. Mm -hmm. They're only $59. Okay, thank you. Ana Patricia, the next one. And how much is this sweater? You mean this or these? No, this. The first one. This, the first one. This, okay. How much this. is this sweater? Aquí está, ¿verdad? How much is this sweater? Thank you, Ana Patricia. Luz Virginia is next, please. Es que yo creo que se, nos confundimos con la pronunciación porque... Ah, el, sí. Ajá, el, el this que se debería pronunciar como is, se pronuncia como this. Entonces, ahí mm -hmm. creo que... Hay mucha confusión con la es, pronunciación. Es un, es un poquito complicado, más que ah, todo. Ah, y el otro se pronuncia, con, con, empieza con E, se pronuncia this y empieza, se pronuncia uh -huh. con I. Es, es el sí, sonido más apoyo. pronunciado. Ajá. Sí, es cierto. Esto es un poquito difícil de acostumbrarse. El primero es this. Pero cuidado, porque no es this, ¿verdad? No, es, no se pronuncia con una E, con el sonido de una E, sino más bien es un sonido como intermedio entre una I, el sonido I y el sonido E. Es como E, E. Es como un sonido intermedio entre esos dos y es bien corto. Entonces sería this, this. 
tener un poquito de cuidado de no decir this, this, porque tampoco es el sonido e, ¿verdad? Sería this, e, e, this. Y el plural es como la i en español. I es bien marcada y es más larga. Entonces, these es el plural. Uh -huh. Sí, entiendo que cuesta un poco al principio hacer esa diferencia. Hay que practicar bastante. Pero por eso les pregunto, ¿verdad? En este caso, eh, que me estaba contestando Ana Patricia, creo que fue, eh, me estaba diciendo la respuesta, pero como yo sé que pronunciarlo es un poquito difícil, por eso les pregunto, ¿el primero o el segundo? Para estar bien seguros. Ok, Luz, please. Which one? Okay. Which one? They're all different. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Luz Virginia. Jocelyn, please. This green one. This green one. Correct, because it's only one sweater. Correct. Thank you, Jocelyn. And the last one, Jennifer Noemi. It's 30. 30. No. 34. 34. 34. 34. Mm -hmm. It's 34 dollars. Así es. Okay. It's $34. That's right. Thank you very much. Hugo, you take the next one. Third conversation. Esta es práctica extra, ¿verdad? Esto no está en la plataforma. This is extra practice. Okay. What does Sonia say? Sonia is okay. this lady right here. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. I like those sunglasses like, okay. over there. I like those sunglasses over there. Okay. Thank you, Hugo. You're welcome. Okay. What about the clerk? What does the clerk say? Raise your hand, please. Okay. Hiroki. Uh, which ones? Which ones? Correct, because it's plural. Very good. Por ahí vi a Michelle levantando la mano. Pero se arrepintió la bajó. <laughs> okay. Okay, then uh, Janet, Jacqueline, and then Pamela. The small brown ones. The small brown ones. Correct. Okay, good. Very good. Pamela, what's next? Pamela? Ya no. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> There she is. Mm -hmm. um, they are. They are $199. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're expensive. Yeah, correct. Hay ciertas cuestiones, o más que todo cuando hablamos de ropa y artículos que son plural siempre. Por ejemplo, jeans. Siempre es plural. Shorts, siempre es plural, ¿verdad? Glasses, siempre es plural, ¿ok? Así que hay, eh, hay que tomar eso en consideración. All right, good. Y hay otros que siempre vienen en pareja, por ejemplo, los aritos, serían the earrings, the socks, los calcetines, the shoes, los zapatos, ¿verdad? Porque no va a ir a comprar uno nada más, ¿verdad? Siempre se lo van a vender el par. Entonces, esos también, a pesar que se pueden contar individualmente, por lo general va a ser en plural, porque uno no va y compra solo uno, ¿verdad? compra dos. Lo mismo los guantes, ¿verdad? The gloves, y así. Ok. Let's continue. We have, uh, there's a listening exercise that we're going to do. Okay, listening. This is part of the knowledge check. Look at these. Listen to Tim and Sandra shopping. Complete the chart. Okay, I'm going to play it for you, pero antes de eso quiero comprobar que se pueda pasar la asistencia esta vez. Espero que sí. Si no, vaya. Brenda me dijo que estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, ya está. Janet, Carolina, are you here? Janet, Carolina. Jennifer, Noemi, aquí está, ya vi que ahí anda. 
Jocelyn Gabriela también, yo vi que ahí está. José Aías, me parece que ahí anda también. José. Presente. Thank you. José Francisco, creo que aquí anda también. Present. Thank you. Hoy sí está funcionando. Karen Xiomara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karina Yasmin. Present. Cari ok, Present. thank you. Thank you very much. Luz Virginia. Sí, aquí anda, ya vi. A uh, Melissa, también por aquí vi que estaba participando. A uh, Michelle, también. Pamela, también. Roberto Carlos, aquí lo vi también, ¿verdad? Roberto Carlos. Thank you. Ah, ahí estamos. Sandra Maritza. Sí, presente, teacher. Ok. Sandra. Ok, Sandra, thank you. Selma Yamilet, ya vi por aquí. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa de Jesús Cruz. No. Victoria Ingrid. I'm here. Mm -hmm. There you are. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Va, hoy sí, funciona. Solo me faltan dos personas. Los voy a llamar de vuelta. No voy a hacer que no me hayan escuchado. Janet Carolina. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No. Creo que es la compañera que siempre tiene problemas con el micrófono. Quiero ver. Pero no la veo en el chat. Quiero ver, Victoria Ingrid. Participantes. Tenemos a Teresa, Teresa de Jesús. Bueno, Jenny Carolina, para comenzar. Iris, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jocelyn, José. No, aparentemente no está. No aparecen entre los participantes. Ok, y luego tenemos a Teresa de Jesús. Teresa... No, tampoco está en la lista de los que están conectados actualmente. Ok. Victoria right. Ingrid sí está. Victoria. Ah, sí, Victoria sí. Ingrid, sí, ya la tengo acá. Uh -huh. Aquí, quien no me aparece es Teresa de Jesús y Janet Carolina. No están ahorita conectados según la lista de participantes. Pero sí, Victoria Ingrid, ya, ya le marqué acá, que está presente. Ok, listening, everybody. Look at these. Listen to Tim and Sandra shopping. Complete the chart. Para este ejercicio necesito que tomen apuntes, por favor. Así que si tienen lápiz y papel a la mano, sería muy útil. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Veamos. Listen to Tim and Sandra shopping. Complete the chart. So there's the item. Inline skates, que son los patines. The cap, sunglasses, and watch. You need to listen and write the price. ¿Cuánto valen? Okay. Then, do they buy it? ¿Lo compran? Yes or no? Sin importar que lo compre o no lo compre, también tiene que completar esto. Reason. ¿Por qué lo compró o por qué no lo compró? Ahí van a comentar ellos. Voy a poner esto uh, dos veces. I'm going to play it twice. Okay. Si necesitan escucharlo una vez más, yo lo pongo con todo gusto. Lo vuelvo a, a, a reproducir, pero me avisan. Okay. So, let's begin. I'm going to play it now. One. Look at these. Could you hear that? Yes. Okay, great. From the beginning. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay, I'm going to play it again. 
One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay. Do you need to listen to this one more time? Yes, yeah. one more time? Okay, okay, the last time, la última vez. One. Look at these, inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh yeah, you're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm, is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay. The first one, inline skates. Los inline skates son esos patines que tienen las cuatro llantitas una detrás de la otra, así en línea. Okay, son los inline skates. So, um, what is the price? Number one, who wants to participate? Ana Patricia, what's the price? It's uh, 16, 65. 65. Mm, le falló por algunos cuantos dólares. <laughs> le falta un poquito ahí. Pero, okay, Victoria Ingrid? Uh, 165. 165, that's right. It's 165 dollars. Le había rebajado 100 dólares por ahí, ¿verdad? Okay, it's 165 dollars. It's expensive. Okay, so um, Janet Jacqueline and then Benjamin and then Caesar. So Janet Jacqueline, do they buy it? No. No, why not? Uh, it's very expensive. Because they are too expensive. Okay, that's right. Very good. Benjamin, number two, how much is the cap? $9.95. It's $9.95. That is correct. Thank you. Let's see, Roberto Carlos, do they buy it? Uh, the microphone. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh -huh. So do they buy it? That be yes, yes. or uh -huh. yes. Okay. And what's the reason? Is a it's not expensive for me. It's not expensive. Okay, correct. But what exactly okay. did they say? Vamos a ver. Maybe Caesar can help us. What is the reason? They are nice. Yeah, they are nice, but what did they say about the price? Hugo Giovanni, maybe Hugo can help us. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, 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 
1999. Okay, yeah, the cap is 19, 995, I'm sorry, it's 995. Uh, they decide to buy them, deciden comprarlo, pero ¿cuál es, es el motivo por el cual sí lo compran? ¿Qué dijeron acerca del precio? Who can help us here? Ana Patricia. She says, uh, it's a, it's a reasonable price. The price is reasonable. Correct. Okay. Reasonable. Mm -hmm. The price is reasonable. Sí, un precio razonable. Okay. It's $9.95. It's a reasonable price. Thank you. What about the sunglasses? How much are the sunglasses? Raise your hand, please. Cesar. $17. 17 mm, Not exactly. <laughs> casi, casi, pero no. Okay, Hiroki? Um, $60. S um, 16 or 60? 16. $16, $16. correct. Yeah. Okay, it's $16, correct. Okay, and uh, do they buy the sunglasses? Who can help me? Benjamin. No. Why not, Benjamin? Because they're too big. Because they're too big. Correct. Okay. They're too big. So that's right. Thank you. And the last one, the watch. How much is it? Michelle. Uh, 49 $49.99. $49.99. That's right, yes. it's $49.99, correct. Thank you, Michelle. Next, do they buy the watch? Okay, Michelle wants to participate. Okay, Michelle, uh -huh. yes. yes, why? Why do they decide to buy it? Uh, I can feel it's a nice, it's a nice watch. It's a nice watch, but what did they say about the price? Lo que me dice es correcto. It's a nice watch. Pero, pero sobre el precio específicamente, ¿qué dijeron? Who can help me? Um, I remember it's expensive. Expensive. Mm, no, not exactly. They didn't say that. But thank you. Luz Virginia and then Selma. It's not expensive. Okay. Parafraseado, sí, eso es lo que quisieron decir. ¿Pero qué dijeron exactamente? Selma. Eh, hello. Hello. No, <risa> dijeron ah. que, que amaban el precio. Hello. Kind of, kind of. Benjamin. Um, he said, uh, I think I'll get it. Ajá, but, but why? What did they say about the price specifically? ¿Qué dijeron sobre el precio uh, específicamente? I don't remember. Okay, no problem. I'm going to play it one more time. I was in my so, word, sorry. No problem. Okay, voy a poner justo esa última parte. Vamos a ver quién me dice. Four. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm, it's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay, what did she say about the price? That's not expensive. It's a good price. It's a good price. <laughs> Specifically? Okay, Roberto. I don't get the price. It's very nice to watch. But I like okay. it. It's it's nice. It's they say. Okay, <laughs> okay. Benjamin. She said it isn't bad. Uh huh. Correct. That's that's exactly what she said. The price isn't bad. The boy said it was expensive, but the girl said mm, it isn't bad. The price isn't bad. She said specifically. She said that. Ahora todo lo demás que me mencionaron. Todo es correcto también, pero específicamente del precio, dijo, the price isn't bad. Pero sí, ok, ahí vamos. Very good. Ok, 
Let me see. Probably for the next exercise, it's going to be the last one. Okay, este sería el último porque ya solo nos quedan cinco minutitos. Okay, uh, there's the role play. Can I help you? No, sorry, it's not this. It's this lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen. Will listen. There's something wrong here. Okay, that's better. We we'll listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Hacer un espacio acá para que se vea mejor. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán la fuerza de voz en oraciones con el objetivo de mejorar la pronunciación. So, what is that? Let's take a look. So, here we go. Uh, pronunciation, sentence stress. Listen and practice. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Okay? They have more stress. I want you to listen. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay? Now, you can hear it. They say, excuse me. There is a stress. Hay una fuerza de voz cuando dicen excuse me. It goes like excuse me. The second one, they're perfect. Okay? Hay una mayor fuerza cuando dice per. They're perfect. The next one, I like the blue one. I like the blue one. And the last one, they're not very attractive. Hay una mayor fuerza cuando dice not y cuando dice track. They're not very attractive. Algo que hay que tener en consideración cuando se habla en inglés, casi que en cualquier idioma, pero en inglés es particularmente importante, es esta fuerza de voz que se utiliza en ciertas eh, sílabas y en ciertas palabras en la oración. Cuando una persona le habla a usted en inglés, pero todo el acento que utiliza o la fuerza que utiliza para pronunciar las palabras y las sílabas es constantemente plano, por decirlo así, se vuelve complicado entender a la persona. Imagínense cómo sería. Vamos acá. Regresemos a esto. Parece este roleplay. Dice... Les voy a leer acá. It said, put items for sale on your desk or table. Notebooks, watches, or bags. Use items of different colors. Si ustedes escuchan, hay momentos en que el tono de la voz sube y baja un poco. Sube y baja un poco. ¿Cómo sería si se lo leyeran todo de forma llana? Digámoslo así. Sería algo como, put items for sale on a desk or table. Notebooks, watches, or bags. Use items of different colors. Sonaría algo así. Suena bien sin vida y a la larga hace que sea un poquito difícil comprender. Por eso es bien importante la entonación, que es lo que vamos a practicar acá. Ok, I need some volunteers to read the four sentences. ¿Quién me participe? Ok, Hiroki, can you read the four sentences and then Pamela? Ok, excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue ones. They're not very attractive. Okay. En la última, they're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Uh -huh. Aha. That's better. Okay. Thank you, Hiroki. Ana Patricia. Okay. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue ones. Mm -hmm. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. They are not very attractive. Correct. Thank you. Luz Virginia. And then Hugo. And then Pamela. Excuse me. They, they go perfect. I like the blue one. They, they are not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, good. Thank you, Luz Virginia. Hugo Giovanni. Then Pamela Flores. Then Jennifer Noemi. And then Roberto Carlos. Uh, the microphone, Hugo. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me. You're perfect. I like the one uh, the, blue one. Aha, uh -huh, the blue one. Uh -huh. 
they're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, let's do this. Thank you. Pamela Flores. Heals me. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. I like the blue one. Mm -hmm. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, good. Jennifer Noemi. Um, excuse me. They're mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Ajá, pero hay que hacer un poquito más de fuercecita ahí, porque si no se escucha muy llano, digamos. Veamos, re repeat after me, vea. Repita conmigo, veamos. Excuse me. Excuse me. Un poquito más de fuerza, porque se escucha muy flanito todo, ¿verdad? Veamos. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're perfect. They're perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. Mm -hmm. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. They perfect. Mm -hmm. I like the blue one. Yeah. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay. Thank you. Michelle. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay. Very good. Me comentaban, bueno, ya prácticamente estamos a punto de terminar. Me comentaban que había un ejercicio que no le estaba funcionando el, el audio en la plataforma. No sé si me podrían indicar. Alguien me estaba diciendo. Pamela. No. <ríe> ok. Luz Virginia. Alguien me estaba indicando, pero no sé, no me acuerdo quién era que me había dicho. Que hay un ejercicio en la plataforma cuyo audio no, no funciona. Quisiera revisar eso. I don't you, don't, you don't remember. Ok. Bueno, entonces, tal vez lo puede... Bueno, cuando ingrese a la plataforma nuevamente, lo localizamos y de ahí me indica y mañana lo vemos con mayor detenimiento. Ok. Vamos a terminar acá. Solamente tendría que... Teresa de Jesús. No sé si me quería decir algo. Sí, teacher. Dígame. Solamente quería confirmar mi asistencia, que hoy estoy saliendo bien. Ah, aquí trabajo. está. Eso, a veces con la cámara apagada. Ok, ok, ahí estamos ya, Teresa Jesús. Gracias. Solo me faltaría Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Are you here? Janet Carolina Rivera. Último llamado, Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No. Ok. Bueno, en ese caso, quedamos así. Ok, tomorrow we'll continue with this. Que sería, uh, we're going to study the comparative form of adjectives. Ya van a ver, tenemos ahí bastantes ejercicios que resolver y muy buena práctica. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, thank, thank you, Mr. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. See you see tomorrow. Ya. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. No, no quiero, mi amor. Gracias. Un poquito te iba a dar. Solo un poquito. Ajá. Un poquito.